What if we could clean wastewater and produce energy at the same time? That's what a new startup called ArbSource is trying to achieve. The core of our technology uh, is a naturally occurring class of bacteria called anode respiring bacteria. That's A-R-B. The acronym is where our name comes from. So with our patent pending ARB cell biotechnology process, these ARB that we grow inside our reactors form this biofilm. And this biofilm enables the fast, efficient degradation of sugars, starches, proteins, and other organic pollutants that are common in food and beverage wastewater streams. And so these sugars and starches they flow into our reactor, they're dissolved in this wastewater. Our biofilm eats up those materials. We end up with a much cleaner effluent output, which then can be safely discharged into either municipal sewer systems or directly into the environment. And as a consequence of the, the cool electrochemistry is that we generate this hydrogen gas byproduct at very high consistent purity. We're talking over 99%. It can be used for any number of different purposes. The traditional wastewater treatment plant that uses oxygen, you have to pump that oxygen, that air, into the wastewater and that is highly costly for the treatment. At the same time, you produce a lot of biomass because they grow with a lot of energy. And the concept of the microbial electrochemical cell is now that we are going to extract some of that energy that we give to, to the bacteria so they grow a bit less and we get some energy out. So there are a few benefits, savings, hydrogen production, and less biomass to handle. Well, wastewater processing is so vital to our existence, and so to be able to reduce some of the energy demand on that is extremely important. And so I think what we're doing is going to be able to help immensely. In the case of the development of microbial electrochemical cells, it's a very broad range of disciplines, expertise that is needed to um, scale these systems up. So the congregation of all these researchers with different backgrounds and working on the same technology but different aspects so that those different aspects can be improved to eventually get a more efficient technology has helped a lot in, in, in the development of these uh, systems. Instead of simply perfecting this idea in the lab, Arizona State University is attempting to set this technology loose in the outside world via the marketplace. The best part about having ASU and specifically the Biodesign Institute um, as a strategic partner in our development is that they bring world-class expertise to our uh, scaling efforts. One of the advantages of entrepreneurship uh, versus just a pure lab research setting is that we're getting feedback from customers. Mark talks with the uh, customers and figures out what exactly their needs are and what excites them as far as different parts of our value proposition and, and so that helps the lab research group to really focus their efforts instead of maybe pursuing a direction that would be cool from a scientific standpoint but not very helpful from a customer standpoint. We'll be adding so much value to the way that water is managed in the way that waste is converted from what is right now just a costly liability into a valuable resource in the form of that hydrogen gas.